Welcome to another episode of Hello Jerry, where we answer your non-baseball related advice questions. All right, this question comes from Lainey from Twitter. She says, hello Jerry, any tips on how to cut a dog's nails? Uh, yes, pay a professional to cut the nails. Um, you're not gonna do it, you're gonna hurt a dog, you're gonna get it bleeding, just go to the vet. Go to a, a specialist and, and fork it over. Always go to a professional. It's like trying to cut your own hair. It's a bad idea. This is another question from Twitter. It's good fundies. Hello, Jerry. How do I quit soda for good? I mean, I've quit like 10 times already. Ah, that's the key. You can never quit soda. But the, I would say my advice, because I've done the same thing, is to make it a treat, make it like a dessert. So like when I go to the movie theater, I'm like, hey, I'll have a cherry Coke because everything's better out of the fountain. So make sure you only do it as a treat or as a, you know, like a prize for you doing something. You can never truly get rid of drinking soda. It's one of those things. Now, this is an email question from Flynn. Hello, Jerry. One of my coworkers seems like a normal guy, but I've recently discovered that when at work, he never uses the bathroom. Is he a robot? Uh, you can never truly tell if somebody's a robot, I mean, unless you catch them in the act of, you know, plugging in and recharging. Uh, the real question is, is he a human, and if he's human, why is he not going to the bathroom? Is he wearing a diaper? Depends. Or does it depend? Got it. See what I did there? Right, this one comes from Erica from Twitter. Hello, Jerry. I am seriously considering getting a shirt with your name on it. Should I? Yeah, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? there shouldn't be a question. You'd be the only person not related to me to have my name on the back of a jersey or a shirt. So I am in full support. And if you get said shirt and I find you, I will definitely autograph it, which may or may not be what you want. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. But uh, thank you, Erica, for even considering. Uh, this question comes from Ronald. It's an email question. It says, hello, Jerry. I'm a wide receiver on my high school football team, and I'm looking for new touchdown dances for when I reach pay dirt. Could you demonstrate any ideas you might have? Ah, oh, Ronald, I'm not much of a celebratory dancer myself. I try to, to go about my business and keep it, you know, as cut and dry as I can. I don't want to show anyone up. I don't want anyone to show me up. I just try to, to do it quite business-like. Um, you can do the Josh Smoker jump spin kind of thing, or you can keep it simple and just do the Addison Reed like, uh, I'm done with business. I just dominated. I'm just gonna walk off all casually and keep my hat tilted up. If you notice, when he comes down, everybody in the dugout does the hat tip. Just kind of a little nod to, to Reed doing his thing. But uh, keep it simple. Just pretend like you've been there before in pay dirt. This is an email question from Frank. Hello, Jerry. I'm getting a tattoo, but I don't know what to get. Any suggestions of something I won't regret? Uh, no. There has been three times in my life where I've thought about getting a tattoo, and then immediately six months later, I'm like, oh man, I'm so glad I didn't get that tattoo. Uh, so I'm not sure, I'm not the guy to ask. I don't have any tattoos. There's never been one where I've been upset that I didn't get it, but uh, I like tattoos, I like the artwork. Um, get something from the heart and don't put it on your face or on your neck, because no matter how good it looks, that's gonna be a regrettable one. What does it say in Hungarian? Is that the genuine? Oh, Senta. I'm gonna get that same tattoo. How would you feel about that? I saw, okay, there is one perfect tattoo. I don't, it's been going around on Instagram and Twitter. It's a guy had like a big mole on his head and then he did the Jumpman yeah, Jordan and it's holding, it's holding like the mole. Oh, it's beautiful. Vic from email. Hello, Jerry. Thinking of getting a male romper to wear to a friend's barbecue. Will I look cool or like a tool? Uh, the answer is your confidence level. If you can pull it off, go for it, man. I wear bow ties. A lot of people think that's tool-like, but it, the difference is you got to wear it with confidence. Uh, the only problem I see with wearing a romper uh, is you have to take the entire thing off to use the restroom, so I don't hope you plan on drinking some adult beverages at this barbecue, otherwise you're going to be shedding off your entire wardrobe just to, to go to the bathroom. So it might not be convenient, but uh, if you do send me a picture on Twitter, I would love to not laugh at you in front of my friends. I just wanted to say thank you guys again for, for submitting so many questions, non-baseball related. It's been a, a fun episode. And uh, make sure when you hit me up on Twitter at hashtag hello Jerry for your fly on my face. I almost went in my mouth. Yeah, no, really, that would have been amazing. All right, all right. We'll just, yeah, we're good. You're good on the I'm done, yeah. 